Is Christian McCaffrey the number one weapon on the Niners offense right now? No doubt. Hmm. No doubt. Hmm. Why? Because he can, um, he's got, you know, power to break tackles. Um, he's, he can be used as a running back. He can be used in the slot. You can flex him out outside. Yeah. He's versatile. He can, he's a run after the catch weapon. Um, he's got better hands, I think, than Debo. I think he's more reliable than Ayuk. He's more explosive than Kittle. Yeah. McCaffrey. All right. In the most respectful way possible, I disagree with you on this one. Okay. But I guess that makes for better. Make your argument. Um, I think he's number two. I think he's number two. I put him above Debo and Kittle right now. Debo is not what he used to be. And maybe he'll get back there. But he missed the whole offseason. He's hurt. He's dropping passes. He's not getting down the field. He's a glorified check down option right now. He's still good after the catch. Yes, he is. But he's hurt. And Kittle, great, really good player. Not what he used to be. I'm saying Ayuk's the number one weapon on this team right now. And it's hard. I still feel like he's a little underappreciated because they don't have Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes. As, you know admirable of a job as Jimmy Garoppolo is doing he can't really take full advantage of what Brandon Ayuk has to offer but still when he's targeting Brandon Ayuk this season or when the Niners are like a 120 quarterback rating he's got like two drops he's doing great after the catch he has no weaknesses to his game and unlike McCaffrey I can get down the field so Ayuk's an awesome player Hell, I don't, think, Hell I don't think there's any question. He's got great yeah. ball skills. He's got strong hands. He's courageous across the middle. Um, he's a, he's a terrific player. But if I can remember when the team wasted a timeout because you were lined up on the wrong side of the formation, you ain't my number one weapon. And I can remember that. That happened oh, like that's three nitpicky. weeks ago. That's nitpicky. That's not. But it's fair. happened before, and it's like hey, I, Christian I'm McCaffrey so... fumbled last week. That's true. It's true. If we're going to go I'm... there. <laughs> yeah. No, these guys are both Fumble really twice. good. I'm not trying to tear Fumble one twice, down. Actually, Fumble twice. He did twice. These yeah. guys are both really good. Really good. I love Ayuk, guess... but Ayuk, some, there's something about Ayuk that's not dependable. And I'm not sure what it is. I got to see some consistency. Give me, give me I five think he's or quite six dependable. Games. I think he's quite, he doesn't drop the ball. Now he no, does he make, he's he got does, great he, hands. He's yeah, tough. He, I, and I, it's, to your point, you know, he has, he does make some, some mental mistakes and, and Kurt Warner questioned his route running, but. He's a young guy who's improving pretty consistently, in my opinion. I think they're a nice combination, Ayuk and Christian McCaffrey. It's a nice I one, too. too. Uh, well, here's what I want to say. So, Christian McCaffrey just had a phenomenal game from start to finish in L.A. Ayuk started off slow. Not that he w- They just didn't get him involved, really, in the first half. The offense really took off in the second half once they got Ayuk involved on that second drive. 11 yards, 11 yards, 11 yards, red zone, touchdown on McCaffrey. So, I think they complement each other quite well. Well, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. I mean, and Ayuk is, I was thinking about this when I saw the rumors for Jerry Judy. Like, you know, I was thinking, well, would I, would I flip Ayuk for Jerry Judy? And I don't think I would. I wouldn't. So there, and and I'm looking at that draft. I kind of like what I'm seeing as far as Ayuk going forward. Um, But um, there's just, until he's, you know, really, really dependable week after week after week. I gotta see it. I, I'm I'm still I'm still a little skeptical. I compare him to Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs was really good in Minnesota, but there was only so much he could prove with Kirk Cousins as his quarterback. And he goes to jo- to New- uh, Buffalo with Josh Allen, and all of a sudden he's an All Pro up there with the top receivers in the league statistically. I think Ayuk could do that too if you put him on, if you swapped him out in Buffalo for Stephon Diggs and put Ayuk in his place. I think he'd be having like 1,400 yards a season. But I don't know. It's a projection. It's the way I look at him. Here's the thing that I, I would say is I, lo- I love Ayuk's skill set, the strength, um, the run after the catch ability, the long arms, the durability, and I mean, the fearlessness, the courageousness. But like the kind of play that Jimmy and McCaffrey hooked up on this week where it was like nice. literally just – no dialogue, just I'm looking at the spacing and I'm looking at you and I'm looking at the defender and I'm making a play. I don't know if he's got the improvisational ability of a McCaffrey at this point. So I'll lean with That's McCaffrey. A That's a good point. Good debate.